Miss Grand International is right around the corner. They have already held some quite interesting and borderline dangerous events. Um, for example, their swimsuit competition where they narrowly avoided some lawsuits. But knowing Miss Grand International, they probably had the women sign something ahead of time to prevent him from suing because it really really gave <laughs> i should have made a whole video at the time but their swimsuit competition this year really 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 gave america's next top model it really gave that i mean a lot of people have been very critical of the miss grand organization for um basically allegedly trying to place the girls in harm's way in for our entertainment basically i would rather see a really really well done swim competition than watch women struggling for their life in this video we are not going to be talking about that we are going to be doing something positive i'm going to be talking about my top 20 early faves for Miss Grand International this year. So rapid fire, at number 20, I have Canada's Yulia Sherban, who is 22. At number 19, I have the Czech Republic's Sofia Osako, who is 19. At number 18, I have Panama's Julia Leung, who is 26. At number 17, I have Costa Rica's Crystal Freeman, who is 26. At number 16, I have Spain's Celia Sevilla, who is 22. At number 15, I have Brazil's Adriana Yanka, who is 26. She was actually also the fourth runner-up at Miss Supranational Brazil in 2022. At number 14, I have Guatemala's Rachel Paz, who is 22. At number 13, I have Myanmar, who is 22. Beautiful girl. At number 12, I have Venezuela's Valentina Martinez, who is 23. At number 11, I have India's Ashina Sumbul, who is 24. She was actually also in the top 10 at Miss Diva 2020. So vying for that Miss Universe India title all the way back in 2020. Then at number 10, moving into the top 10, I have Thailand, who is 27. At number 9, I have Vietnam, who is 27. Vietnam's interesting because she was also in the top 10 at Miss Universe Vietnam back in 2019. Then she was in the top 5 at Miss Universe Vietnam in 2022. And then she wanted to compete at Miss Supranational Vietnam in 2023, so this year, but she withdrew. So I think that's interesting. At number 8, we have the Philippines' Nikki Demura, who is 19. She was also Miss Teen Philippines in 2019. At number 7, we have Puerto Rico's Maria Cristina Ramos, who is 26. At number 6, I have the Netherlands' Melissa Bottema, who is 23. At number 5, I have the Dominican Republic, who is 21 years old. And at number 4, I have Colombia, Maria Alejandra Lopez, who is 29. She was the winner of Miss World Colombia 2015. But she was unfortunately unplaced at Miss World 2015. I do, however, think that she has improved majorly since then. At number three, I have Peru, Luciana Fuster, who is 24. At number two, I have Indonesia, who is 22 years old. And lastly, at number one, I have Stephanie Miranda, who is 29. She has quite the track record. Um, she competed at Miss Ohio USA 2020, which she won. She then went on to compete at Miss USA 2020, where she placed in the top 16. She then went on to compete at Miss Universe Puerto Rico 2021, where she placed in the top 5. She then went on to go to Miss Grand Puerto Rico 2023, where she placed as the first runner-up. And lastly, she went and competed at Miss Grand USA 2023, which she won. I think it's so interesting because this year she will be competing against the woman who actually beat her at Miss Grand Puerto Rico. And honestly, I like the USA more. I think she has the sort of Miss Grand sparkle. I don't know, maybe, I, maybe it's too early to say, right? This is just a loose initial favorites list that I'm just throwing out there, but I do think that the USA this year has the Miss Grand Sparkle. 
Let me know what you guys think. The prelims is almost happening. It's happening on the 22nd of October. And then the finals is on the 25th. It's so interesting this year because Miss Grand International and Miss International is happening back to back. And to me, these two pageants are nothing alike. Miss International is so low key and demure, whereas Miss Grand is so, you know, out there and attention grabbing and I think their uh, poor Miss International is getting way less attention than they would have had if Miss Grand wasn't happening. But yes, guys, those are my initial thoughts and favorites for Miss Grand International this year. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I missed anybody out. I'm excited to see the prelims. Miss Grand must just stop trying to be too outlandish. One thing about Miss Grand, oh. They just, they refuse to be normal and uh, inconspicuous, but, <laughs> but I mean, you, you gotta love it sometimes also. I mean, it's very entertaining, but I do not want them to put the women in harm's way for entertainment value. Let me know what you guys think about Miss Grand International this year. I'd love to know. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.